first day building. We got the frame all done. The panels are in, but they're not secured down. We were just doing that to just get an idea. Had to dig a trench a little bit. Not bad for a day's worth of work, huh? So we got the back frame all all done today, right? Sure. Yeah, we don't need to do anything else. Got a spot for a window. The Bruins are on, the Bruins are on so you know we're working with that too. Got all our brackets in. Gonna use this structure for some shelving. Like I said, we're gonna do a window. Have a little workbench here. It's really coming together now. Got more done today. Put our pipe insulation up on the back at least. Shane worked on the, the front. Finished framing this in. Need some more pipe insulation. Didn't quite know how much I was going to need, but works out pretty good. So now we have to figure out how to build our door and how to frame in a window. We got our little things down here to secure that down. I don't think it's going anywhere. You can see pretty rugged. So yeah, window, door, tie up a few things and hopefully the plastic will be here today. It's supposed to be. And we can start working on that and turning it into a greenhouse. putting pipe insulation all along the front help protect those edges from the cattle panel when I put the plastic on if plastic ever gets here got the door all framed in like I said I did the back see those it'll protect it so now we gotta again build our window Fill the door, got all our brackets. Might put some quarter corner panels in down at the bottom. Or braces, not panels. Just to make it stronger and more rugged. We don't intend on moving this, so we don't really care how heavy it is or anything like that. I think right now it could survive a hurricane, but that's <laughs> to be seen, hopefully never, but that's kind of what we're going for, something really strong and sturdy. And like I showed this morning, you know, this thing, it ain't moving. Pretty rugged. Like I said, if my plastic ever gets here, it's supposed to be here Friday. Thanks UPS for, you know, delivering that. We'll be able to put the plastic on and go from there. Looking good.
Got some more work done on it today. Didn't think we were gonna with the weather. Poured earlier, but it kind of cleared up, so we came out and put in our braces for some shelves. So I got one on this side and one on this side. And we had to do that before we put our plastic up because we can't screw into the wood if the plastic's in it. So that's why we worked on that today. And we'll put a metal, excuse me, a middle structure in for extra support. And then haven't decided how I'm going to cover it yet. If I'm going to do some wood or some, you know, just some strapping or something like that. Or if I'm going to do like wire, almost like cattle panel type stuff. I haven't decided yet. So something that will be able to drain. And I put on the last strips of pipe insulation to protect the sharp edges for when we put on the plastic. So we're pretty darn close to getting the plastic put on and get this really acting like a greenhouse. So that was what we did today. squeaky. I joked nobody's going to be able to sneak into the greenhouse. We got some brackets for the shelves for some extra stability. So I got to put some legs on it, but that's, you know, we can do that down the line in another day or two. Got the window frame all done. Got a little workbench structure here. Like I said, we got this all framed in. So there's how our window opens. It opens from the top, so when it gets hot in here, heat rises, it'll hopefully just go right out. It just closes that back up, got a little latch so it doesn't move, it stays shut. Getting close now, very close. Huh, Maddie? This is a pretty cool doghouse, isn't it? Go ahead. Get in. Do you like your puppy house? Huh? You think that's what this is? A big doggy house? That's what she thinks. But, just have a few more supplies to get in the morning just to finish off some things, but basically the structure's done. I mean, it's ready for plastic. Like I said, it was a little windy today, so that wasn't going to happen. You can see the trees, it's pretty breezy, so save that for another day, but that's what we did today, so it's looking good.
greenhouse is done. Put the plastic on today. That was kind of a pain in the butt, but we took our time with it and uh, made sure everything was nice and tight. Did the best we could with pulling in the plastic in the front and the back. That was the hardest part. Definitely the hardest part. But like I said, we took our time and got it to where we want to be. You can see the windows open. It was getting pretty hot in there. Even before we secured everything down, I did get a little temperature gauge for it. It got up to uh, 110. It's about, oh, it must be about s close to 70 degrees here today. So it gets pretty warm in there. So thank goodness, obviously, we needed the vent window. I think right now it's about 85 in there. But I figured I'd give everybody the grand tour of the finished product. We got some mulch we're going to put around the outside too. Try to make it look pretty. So it was quite the project, but it was fun. I enjoyed doing it. We got our little, these little grippy, grippy nails. So we used that to hold down the plastic. We saw a video on YouTube, some guy was using that. So that's why we have that. And I've already got my plants in here. This is, all this stuff has been in my kitchen table. So my kitchen had turned into a makeshift greenhouse. So it's kind of nice to have the kitchen back. And I'm not exactly the greatest gardener. These are seeds I've started in the house. So, but I enjoy it. I have fun. I work from home, so it gives me something to do at lunchtime or on break. Tend to my kids. And I got some, all kinds of space down below for whatever I want. It's nice and tight in here. And I put this little mesh screen here just stapled it on as like a little workbench type thing, but wanted it to drain, so that's why. But like I said, you can see it's about, well, actually it looks like it's about 90 in here right now. And that's with the window and the door open. So it does, it gets pretty warm, but this plastic is really nice. I got it on Amazon um, for about, it's like $75, $76, but <clears throat> reason why I got it was because it's special... UV greenhouse stuff and it's supposed to last four years so I guess I'll report back in a couple of years and see how it works but it's not supposed to crack or anything like that it's supposed to be pretty durable so I decided to spend the extra money I figured why not but that's it done 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 thinking about what we're going to put on the ground if anything so that's to be determined but she is a functioning greenhouse right now and I definitely, like I said, like having my kitchen back because all these little plants were in my kitchen. So I didn't have a kitchen table, so that's that. update on what we did today. We got a window in the front door because we needed it for that cross ventilation. It gets way too hot in there. It's even, well I think let's check the temperature now. We've had both windows open for a good while now and it's still about mid 90s in here. But it gets all day sun so that's to be expected. But I got all kinds of little things growing. Things are looking happy. Just planted a bunch more seedlings. Got all kinds of stuff growing on here. These are all my herbs that I planted. And got some mulch on the sides here to make it look nice. Started that project. Probably put some edging on it, haven't decided. But yeah, it's nice. We get some nice 
cross ventilation here now so we can keep it, you know, somewhat cool. I know it's a greenhouse, so it's going to get hot, but we can't have it melt things in there. So that's the latest improvement that we did. We had to add a little stopper for the door so that when the window is open, it doesn't go right through the plastic because that would have been a disaster. But yeah, that's what the new window looks like. And it closes up the same way as the other one. So like I said, we got to do some mulch here on the side. I just have the, the front and the back left, probably put some little flower pots in there to make it look nice and maybe some fencing. So something to do down the line, but that's the latest. Got the garden fence all fixed. We had um, one broken uh, area on it, so we had to fix that. And we figured we fixed one, we might as well just do the rest so it looks a lot nicer. We originally had two by threes on top, but we switched it and did two by fours, so it's a lot more sturdy. It looks very nice now. So like I said, there was only one that was broken, but we did them all. And same thing with the door. Um, I think we originally constructed this garden 2016, and then 2017 we added this side to it. So things were getting a little tired. And like I said, the door was getting very tired. So, like I said, instead of just replacing a couple here and there, we just replaced everything. So, we got that all nice and new. Nice new, nice and smooth. Doesn't hit the ground anymore. The old fence post I was having to kick the bottom in when I closed it. But now it closes nice and smooth. So we got that finished the other day. Like I said, all new railings, which will, this garden will soon be home to this, whatever's in here. So this is kind of the final video, just tying everything up now that it's done done. Um, as you can see, I, I dressed it up a little bit. I put some little fencing on it, did mulch all the way around just to kind of dress it up a little bit. Made it look kind of nice. Um, but just to go over how we did this, we really didn't, we did a lot of research on, um, actually I wouldn't even say research, we watched a lot of videos on YouTube and didn't necessarily take just one idea. We kind of took ideas from lots of videos and whatever we liked, we kind of tried to incorporate into our construction. So I think that's really with anything, you know, you, you can't really watch one and do it exactly like that. You're going to want to pick up ideas, I guess, from all kinds of different videos. At least that's what we did and it worked out pretty good. So um, we got two by sixes on the bottom and it's 12 feet by about seven feet. Um, the plastic that I got, I got off Amazon. I'll, I'll put a link down below in the description. I liked where I got it from. Like I said, it had good reviews. Um, it tells you what side to put inside, so that was kind of nice. So you're not going to mess that up. Um, they had all kinds of different sizes. For this 12 by 7 size, the size of the plastic I got was 20 um, by 25 feet, and it was well more than enough. I was actually kind of nervous that it wasn't going to be enough for the ends, but it was. So just to give you an idea for size, like I said, I've got three cattle panels, so it's 12 feet long. We overlap them. I know they're, they're technically 16 feet by 50 inches wide, um, but we just did the 12 foot uh, two by sixes. So it's about 12 feet. So they are overlapped on the inside. We use these handy dandy little grip right nails. That's a tip that we got on a video we saw on YouTube. So the sides here are all held down with grip right nails. We didn't use the fencing staples. So we used grip right nails and we did put some felt strips around where we had cut the plastic just to kind of protect it a little bit. But my door handle is just a reused door handle, nothing special. And just a little latch here to keep the door closed. 
So on the inside, uh, we did our door was two by threes. I have just a little handle for the inside so I can pull it. We did add this window in front after the fact. It was getting really, really hot in here and having dogs, I really didn't want to keep the door open all the time. I mean, not that they're going to go in and dig it up or anything, but it's just nice to have that window in front. And oddly enough, it's a choke chain that I have that holds it open. So all I do is just unhook it and anytime I want to uh, open it, I just kind of push the window and that's it. If I want, it, want it not as open, just pull the chain and hook it there. So pretty versatile. I mean, you can use anything. I thought about buying a chain, but I have these dog chain collars that I don't use and I figured I might as well repurpose them. So that's what I use that for. And then just close up like that. I don't have anything to keep it shut. I mean, it stays shut on its own. So I don't write too much about that. Um, and we got some L brackets here that held the door together. And like I said, just some added structure here just for stability. So now for the inside, where I actually do have some stuff growing. Um, this uh, shelving is all two by fours, which um, we did put in before we put the plastic on, obviously, because we had to screw on the outside of the railing. So we built all the structure before the plastic was put on. Um, and as you can see, I have this pipe insulation here that I put um, with the creases just to make sure we don't have any metal that might potentially, you know, hit the, the plastic and damage it. So I initially had just done it on the ends, but then I realized, you know, where I had overlapping panels that I also wanted to do that too. So we did that. Um, but getting back to the shelves, yep, they're just two by fours. And you can see I've got little brackets here for extra stability. Haven't put anything on them yet. Um, I just use these garden flats. For drainage so right now it seems like it's working out pretty good so for now I've just kind of stuck with that um, this little gadget right here I just got this yesterday a uh, little Thermapro outdoor remote weather station type thing <clears throat> and uh, I just have it set here I actually have the module the consoles in the house so it reads wirelessly I'll also put a link in the description below for where I got that. It only cost me $30, and it's actually kind of nice because it tells me the temperature, the humidity in here. Um, I originally had it on this back wall, but it seemed like there was too much interference, so I did move it closer. They have a 330-foot range, so I have it probably from here to the house. I don't know. It's maybe half that. But it reads good. Um, all day today it's been in about the mid-40s here. And actually right before I came out it was in the mid-70s in here. And I think the dew point or the humidity was 84%. So it, it reads pretty accurate. I'm very happy with it. Like I said, I just got it yesterday. So, so far so good. I like that. It's just kind of nice to have it in the house if there's a day where it's sunny and then it's cloudy. You know, I can kind of monitor if the temperature is spiking in here too much and maybe I need to come out and, and you know, pop a window open or something. Um, but anyways, getting back to our structure. We actually did start using, um, when we first put the cattle panels on, we were using the fence staples because it seems like everybody else was using that. Um, so you can see we do have fence staples in a couple of spots. But we saw a video, um, someone was using this metal strapping and we really liked that idea and we screwed it in and that worked like a charm. So when we went around to finish up putting, you know, securing down the cattle panel, we went with the strapping. I think we got a roll at the store for, I don't know, like six bucks. I mean, granted, we didn't use a lot of it and you have to break the pieces off yourself, but we really liked that. So, so we went ahead and, uh, and finished it up with the pieces of strapping and a couple of screws. And it went pretty quick. And, you know, if you do, if you need bigger pieces, you can adjust for that. 
Um, it was just easier than the fencing staples, and we, we liked that idea. So again, that is something we took off another video we saw on, uh, on YouTube. So like I said, we just kind of pieced videos together on what we liked and what we didn't like and went from there. So, so now if we come back here, you can see, um, we constructed a little workbench area for me and it's just um, an old piece of basically just chicken wire that I found lying around. So I just used some tin snips, cut it to the size I needed, and basically just stapled it on. I wanted something like this so when I work here, if I'm working with dirt or anything like that, that um, the dirt will just fall down to the ground. So I tend to be kind of messy when I do that stuff. And, you know, it's a greenhouse. It's a working space. I want to be able to be messy and not worry about that sort of thing. So... That was why I did that, and um, I actually did think about getting some grass, um, like some of the, the artificial grass to put in here, almost like a carpet type thing, but I as you can see, I was working in here this past weekend, and I was making a mess, so I am messy, so I don't want to get something to make the inside look all pretty and nice, and then, you know, go make a mess of it, so I think I'm just going to forego that and just stick to the ground and... I'm sure the grass in here will look fantastic because it's always so hot and humid, but I mean, I'll deal with that. If I have to put maybe some plywood down, I might do that, but I don't want to put grass down because I think that kind of defeats the purpose. Um, so we have our back window here now. You can see the temperature in here. It's getting a little warm. Both windows have been closed. It's been, like I said, earlier. It's been kind of cool today, but the sun is starting to peek through a little bit, and this UV plastic really does radiate the heat. So um, anyways, uh, so this is our back window. Again, I have my other extra dog collar that I'm not using, so I'm reusing that as my little uh, adjustable to keep the window open a little bit or a lot or whatever I want. I do have a latch on this one. Um, just to keep that one shut. And all I do is, if I wanna open it, there I go. It's open. I can already feel the cool air coming right in. And same thing as I did on the front. Um, if I just want it open a little bit, I can just hook it there and that'll readjust that. So I actually probably will keep the window open because it is, it is a, a touch warm in here, so. We'll give that some good ventilation here right now. Um, we held that together with some T-brackets, just framed in the window. Um, the window we did two by twos, just two hinges on the outside. Um, and when we did the plastic on the back, because we knew we were gonna put a window in, um, I've seen a lot of different ways to do the plastic. We just did the plastic all the way on the back um, and just cut the window with a utility knife once we had that um, stapled down. So that was pretty easy. And speaking of the plastic, we had two people to do it and it was, it was difficult. I mean, getting it over the top and getting it snug was, was quite a project, but I mean, with the two of us, it wasn't too, too bad. Um, I would just say, just be really patient with it. Try not to rush that. Um, you know, we saw videos on how to do that. And I mean, I really don't think there's any special way to do it. The pleats on the back, we just kind of did what we thought looked best and what we could get as snug as possible. But that was really the hardest part with the plastic, um, was doing the ends with the pleating. Um, so like I said, I would just say, take your time with that. Um, and, and it'll look fine. I mean, as long as it's snug and you know, you're not going to have a lot of slack, that was the best thing, but we definitely needed two people for that. I don't know how people do that by themselves. So that is the inside. And again, I'll show you the, the window on the back side. It's open. And we did the same thing. We have the, uh, the felt strips for where we stapled it, just to give it a little, a little extra support. But that was our project and I'd always wanted one and we finally did it. Um, we 
didn't really have much to reuse, so we bought all the lumber, and unfortunately right now lumber costs are pretty high. Um, if I had to guess the total cost for the lumber for this project, like I said, it's 12 by 7. The bottom is pressure treated. The lumber, I would say, probably cost us $200. We didn't do it all in one day. We kind of, you know, would do a little bit on the weekend, a little bit here and there. So overall, it took us about two and a half, three weeks to finish the project completely. Um, and like I said, the unfortunately, lumber right now is very pricey. So the lumber itself, like I said, if I had to guess, would say $200. Um, I bought three cattle panels from Tractor Supply. Those were about $75 total. And the plastic, like I said, I'll put a description, or a link, excuse me, in the description below for where I got that. Um, the plastic, I think, was about $76, $75, something like that. But it's special UV plastic, which is what I wanted. Supposedly it's guaranteed four years, so I guess I need to report back in four years and let you know how the plastic is holding up. Um, but I, I think it was well worth it. You know, we always say you get what you pay for. So that was probably the hardest part doing this project was putting the plastic on. So hopefully if, if I can prolong having to redo that as long as possible, that's a that's definitely a bonus. Um, but yeah, that's it. You know, if if you have the time and you know, the patience to do something like that. I mean, like I said, ours was probably a little more expensive than what some of the other videos you might see that say, you know, you can build them for $150. If you have stuff lying around that you want to reuse, that's fine. But like I said, we didn't have that. So we built it, basically everything, you know, brand new. So that is the project. And we've even got some little plants growing that had been in my house for the longest time. They're happy out here. I keep coming out and planting more and more seeds. I guess I, I think I have a much bigger garden than I really have, but that's all right. I enjoy doing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments, I appreciate them down below. So feel free to say hello and thank you for watching.